Hello, you beautiful people. All right, so in this episode, I want to show you guys really quickly how to fix Socket IO if it's behind Cloudflare. So what I have is this server um, that has a Socket.io endpoint. It's uh, it's customized. It's called RTM, but you don't have to really worry too much about that. But the issue is that once you enable Cloudflare uh, to protect the server. Um, you are likely going to have this issue if you have HTTPS or SSL enabled for your socket.io endpoint. So what you're seeing here is basically um, the endpoint fails and it says 404. Uh, basically the 404 means it's not found. And so what's happening is the server, uh, when, when a user tries to access uh, the website via the browser, um, just show you the browser here, this is the console, uh, the debug console that I have here. Um, what's happening is that it's pointing to the Cloudflare server instead of pointing directly to the socket.io server. Um, and what is supposed to happen is Cloudflare is supposed to connect to the socket.io, but it's having an issue there and that's why it's returning this 404. So it's basically not found. So if I click on this, um, what should, uh, if you look at the actual URL, you see it's trying to, I'm trying to connect to the um, my real-time um, system, which is the socket.io system, and it's basically failing with the 404 because it can't make that connection. So Cloudflare can't make that connection to my server in the background. And this is a very much undocumented issue that happens, uh, likely for many people. I don't know if they've been able to solve it, but I think I'm probably the first to be able to, to at least create a YouTube video about this. So how do we fix this is the question. All right, so uh, let's head over to Cloudflare. And this is the domain that I have. And under, so usually when you log in, um, you will see, you know, this overview page and you have to head over to SSL slash TLS. And here you'll notice here, this uh, as I said, I'll try to explain this. Um, it's, it's by default, it's usually set to flexible. So when the user, which is in the browser section here, visits the website, what happens is it actually connects to Cloudflare. So Cloudflare servers actually protect your original server, right? That's the whole point of it so that you don't get like a denial of service attack. Cloudflare is able to handle that and block it and so forth. The issue is, is that with the socket.io setup that I have, um, it's enabled on HTTPS. So what's happening is Cloudflare is not able to connect to the origin server. And it's likely probably because it's assuming that it's HTTP instead of HTTPS. And that's why we get all these wonderful errors here. And that's why um, nothing will work on our browser side. And it's really, really simple, as I said, to fix this. So um, all you have to do is click on full. And what that will do, as you see, there's a lock sign when I move the mouse over to full. It's basically uh, telling Cloudflare to connect to the origin server, but use um, SSL, which is HTTPS. And once I do that, I'm clicking it, hopefully it's gonna apply, right? And uh, once you do that, it's gonna take a few seconds. Sometimes it happens instantaneously, but that's what you need to get this to work. So what will happen is, of course, all of a sudden, as you see, things are starting to work here. So instead of these red errors, basically 404, you'll notice that now, it's green and it's giving you 200. So 200 is a successful state um, and that pretty much solves it. It's It took me quite some time, literally a year of searching to find the uh, solution for this and this is the solution. So I hope this is gonna help uh, one of you guys out there that might be having issues with uh, socket.io because it's really, really difficult to find uh, the solution on the internet. Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you so much for viewing. Short video, but means if this, if this helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more programming videos uh, or related code videos as we go along as well. Thanks again. See you guys again soon. Bye.